when I saw him in his condition. I knew that he was not able to escape on his own. It was cold, dark, deafening, and we were both soaked from the rain. Although I couldn't think clearly either. He was clearly in worse shape and hung upside down on a rope much longer than I did. He was covered with flesh wounds, smeared with blood. His pain must be enormous. Hold on. Jeremy. I will save you. Jeremy. to experience was painful and unimaginable cruel. I think he already suspected it, and still he preserved and made sure that nothing happened to me. He was the reason I'm still alive. I cannot thank him enough, even if I would have liked to tell him something. He didn't have to die, at least not like that, alone in the rain, in the dark. However, it all started much earlier. Our group was supposed to explore a previously untrodden island. Look out for raw materials, resources, and possible colonization opportunities. We were, so to speak, the pioneers who were supposed to bring the secret treasures of these islands to light. But right from the start, nothing went as planned. My name is Jeremy, and that's how it all started.
dream. Oh, what a wonderful dream. Plan B. Guys, listen up. The boats of Henry, John, and Christian must be stranded somewhere close. Before we explore the island any further, we need to find the others. They can't be far. Follow me. Hey, Jacob. Why can't I have a gun? Well, again, Jeremy, because you're too young. Anyway, why would we? It's a dead end. We need to find another way. 